All right, hello, I'm Alan Hilsebush. I'm Director of Sales for Industrial Apparatus Services, uh, Division of Siddons Martin Emergency Group. We're here at Pierce Manufacturing doing the final inspection on the second of two trucks for this customer in the Pasadena, Texas area. Uh, this is their 5500 GPM high flow industrial foam pumper. The uh, pumper has a lot of uh, incredible features and I'd like to do a walk around and show you some of them. The uh, pumper is built on a Pierce Velocity fully enclosed cab and chassis. So the, the fully enclosed top mount portion, it means the top mount controls for the pump is all controlled from inside the cab. The uh, Velocity chassis uh, is powered by, this, this particular Velocity chassis is powered by a little special horsepower, we call it a 605 horsepower Cummins ISX D, uh, engine. Uh, with extra torque rating, and uh, it's all the robot to power the big pump and foam system. Uh, inside the uh, cab is basically fixed up the way the customer wanted it. Uh, some special features from an from an enclosed top mount side, a big uh, four-ton rated air conditioning system. Truck is going to South Texas or Southeast Texas, and uh, gets plenty hot and humid down there. As we work our way to the back, you open up the, pump, the uh, crew cab area. The crew cab area is huge, and that is where our pump panel is located. So once you step up in the cab, you can see there's a lot of room up here. Uh, like I talked about, the air, big air conditioner blowing on you, but more or less, more, more important than anything, when you close the doors and you're at a big industrial fire, uh, like this truck barely, very much has the potential of being at, the, uh, the, the noise, you're shielded from the noise, you're shielded from the, the foam and water flying around, and uh, there's just, people are finding there's a lot of advantages of these enclosed top mount configurations, and they're very popular for us. This particular truck uh, is controlling, the pump panel is controlling the, a, a, a Darley ZSM, or two ZSM, 5500 GPM rated uh, water pump. And it has a Husky 300 balance pressure foam system. On the pump panel, you can see all of the controls are the new Pierce electric over hydraulic valves and electric over hydraulic metering valves for the foam side. Um, all of the discharges uh, display, of, of course, pressure, but they also have uh, show flow through the Pierce's new differential pressure flow metering uh, system in which we use differential pressure of the water flowing through the ratio controllers in the foam system to determine flow and to provide you with very accurate flow reading information. The uh, Husky Balance Pressure Foam System has been around for many years. Uh, the new metering valves are, are probably, I guess, now three years old. We've got a lot of those in service and they're performing very well out there. Uh, as you can see, from standing at the pump panel, you have a lot of visibility, plenty of windows around and to the side to see your hoses coming into your truck or going out of your truck. And if you look down on the floor, there is a, a pedestal for a boat seat or a boat, uh, bass boat type seat. So a, a, a driver or operator can, can, once he gets his pump running, can sit here, sit on the seat and, and make sure, and just watch his gauges, make sure everything is running good. With that, we're going to step out of the truck and continue our walk around. So on the driver's side pump panel, you'll, you'll see that we have uh, primarily all discharges. Uh, so we have two, two and a half discharges with three inch plumbing. We have two six inch discharges and we have an eight inch discharge here in the center. There are also foam out concentrate outlets and a foam concentrate suction located on the driver's side, actually on both sides of the truck is a, dry, is a foam concentrate suction. Inside of these doors, as I've showed, if, if you've seen any of our other walk-arounds of our Husky XP balance pressure foam system, you'll see that the, uh, the, the valve controllers are out there, uh, like hydraulic valve actuators, and this is the manual override capability. Should something happen with the electronics or the hydraulics, they're very easily override, overridden with just the use of a half inch ratchet. You basically would turn the, the, the valve from auto to manual and then stick the half inch ratchet in this port and open and close the valve. In that case, this, this, this actuator is controlling this valve.
And this door is just more access to more valve actuators. As we work our way around, maybe from this standpoint it would be the best since we're on the blue floor and it gets a little tight. If you look up on top of the truck, there's a very large uh, monitor, deck gun. That is a Williams Ambassador 2x8, uh, up, capable of flowing up to 8,000 GPM of water or foam solution or hydrochem. And, up on, and above the pump module is uh, two pre-connected cross lays, uh, inch and a half discharges. Like their aerial ladder that we did a walk around, their pumper has the night spot interior uh, coating as well as red LEDs for visibility. Easy on the eyes during the night during nighttime operations. They have a lot of storage capacity for air bottles, air packs, and of course the diesel and DEF fuel that are DEF uh, fill stations. You'll see that the truck is, I guess as we've been doing the walk around, you notice the truck is blacked out. It's the first couple of trucks that I've sold with the Alcoa's new Dura Black aluminum wheels. I think they look really sharp. All right, as we move to the back of the truck, you'll see some really incredible features. Uh, we sell quite a few of these now on industrial trucks. Uh, they're they're user-friendly. Our low hose bed is very important for, uh, for industrial facilities because their employees and their firefighters have to comply with OSHA fall protection uh, requirements. On these, these slide-out hose beds, are side, they're, they're dual slide-out hose beds. Each hose bed is capable of carrying uh, 500 feet of seven and a quarter inch hose and 300 feet of three inch hose. So you can total a, carry a total of 1,000 feet of seven and a quarter and 600 feet of three inch on your truck. All, the, the truck itself has a 1,000 gallon foam tank and it's more of a New York style foam tank so the foam is all shoved to the front where the, and keeps the, and allows the hose bed to the rear to be back and to the back to where these hose beds are nice and down low. So if you're loading your hose up on the truck, you'll see that you're never standing more than, your feet are never more than 24 inches above the ground as you're loading the hose into these hose beds. As you can see, this tray, the doors are up, the walking surface is on top, and this, this hose tray is shoved in. To, to bring it out, you just basically rotate the handle and pull the, the tray out, or shove it back in. Underneath the hose bed and kind of a, between the frame rails, we're storing some pipe poles, and we have some foam suction tube storage troughs, and then they have a little storage area below for some whatever they figure out, mostly likely tools or hydrant bags. The back of the truck does have uh, four inch discharges to TFT Monsoon 2000 GPM electric remote control monitors um, that are both individually controlled from driver side or passenger side. You can feed those monitors from the pump or you can feed those monitors from another source coming into these rear outlets that would then become inlets. So the passenger side of the truck, uh, much like the driver's side, same compartment configuration. They do have an electric cord reel in their driver's side rear. And then as we get to the uh, passenger side pump panel, the, uh, we can, you can more or less consider the suction side of the pump house. So this is, you'll see four eight inch suction inlets and one three inch suction inlet for foam. There's also a two and a half inch auxiliary water suction which typically is more used just to drain the plumbing and drain the big hoses that feed a truck like this. Uh, this 5500 GPM pump configuration, uh, we, we typically run it with three 8 inches and a 12 inch, but this customer opted for the 4 inch 8 inches because they don't feel like they'll ever use a 12 inch hose in their facility. Um, when you open up these, compart these doors, you'll find that they access our Husky XP foam system metering, man, these are those hydraulic metering valves that I talked to you about. The actuator is in the cab, so the hydraulics is running the metering valve, and these are the metering valves, and you can access these should you need to manually override if in the event of a hydraulic or electrical system failure, basically a half-inch ratchet into these ports and dial into the percentage of foam that you're looking for.
Here's more manual overrides. As you can see, they're all cut up, color coded to the phone and, and, and plenty and labeled correctly to the discharges. Should you need to manually access the manual override, which we obviously hope it never happens, but it could. If you remember the pictures and looking out from inside the cab, how easy, how much visibility you have, it kind of looks like you don't have that kind of visibility looking at the rear because a lot of it, especially on a truck that's painted black, the dark tinted windows blend in with the black and kind of some of the windows tend to disappear. And then on the front front of the truck, they have another discharge and, and hose storage capacity. Basically, a, it's a it's a full width what we call a, a underslung bumper with the uh, full width unimpeded hose tray. It'll hold 200 feet of three inch hose and a pre-connected Blitzfire or Hemisphere style monitor. Very popular option for industrial trucks. They have two dual air horns and a single electrical speaker along with the uh, Q2 siren up front. Alright, this truck is equipped with a, with a Whalen emergency lighting, a lot of M6 lights, all the way down LEDs, mostly red LEDs. Uh, they do have uh, various scene lights, all their scene lighting is fire research spectra series lighting. Uh, some of it's, uh, it's all 12 volt actually on this truck. Their ladder had a combination of 12 and 110. And they also have uh, the remote control spotlights up on top of the truck as well. Well, thanks for taking the time to stop by and walk, watch this walk around video and taking a look at this beast of a fire truck.